Hey guys, so today we're going to be opening a Sword and Shield blister pack here, and I will be chewing some more bazooka bubblegum. I'm almost through with this stuff. It's really good, so I might have to get some more. Um, Next time I have to go to the grocery store. So, I'm really excited about this um, booster pack because I really like the promo card. More Pico here. You can see another cute little more Pico in the background. Let's see what the back has to say. I tried to pick one with um both Sassy and well, I'm not sure if this is some um, isn't it? I wanted two doggos in my pack. No reason, other than I thought it looked cool. Let's see. Start a new journey and meet new Pokemon V. Welcome to the Gala region. Meet more than a dozen powerful new Pokemon V, including the legendary Zacian and Zamazenta. And some like Stone Turner and Snorlax. We can evolve into enormous Pokemon V Max for even more power. You'll also find first partners Grookey, Score Bunny, and Sobble. Little cuties like Wooloo and Yamper, and a handful of familiar Pokemon. In their new Valerian forms. Catch up with a new generation in the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield expansion. And we have Zacian featured here on the back. And we've got Sobble and Litten here. Keep us company. And I got some sleeves ready. Should we get anybody cool? But let's see here. With these blister packs, I feel like the look either is really good. Or you end up not so lucky. It feels like when it rains, it pours. Either in the luck department, or the not getting anything cool department. So fingers crossed we get lucky. Fortunately, in this blister pack set, you end up with three sword and shield ones, none of the old ones. Let's see if I can get these out without destroying everything. So here is the code card for anybody who wants it. And we have very adorable more Pico holographic promo. We'll put him in a little sleeve so he can stay safe. We'll let Sabo hold on to him. So we have 
a Gigantamax Snorlax pack. Looks like we have two Zacian packs. So let's get into one of the Zacian packs. I, I'm always afraid with these that I'm going to end up cutting some of the cards. Even though using scissors is kind of the nicer sounding way to open these. I'm not sure. Sometimes they change up the um, the way that they put the code card. Okay. Here's the code card here. I don't like when they switch the code card around because sometimes it can spoil the fun. So we'll do three to the front. Dark energy to start off the back. And let's see who we get. So, to start, we have the Galvantula with a volt wave here. I like the little electricity effect in this artwork. We have Air Balloon, Trainer Card, Pokey Kid, Trainer Card. This reminds me of the one um, Sword and Shield NPC. I think there's one that kind of talks about like being really battle hardened another that kind of talks about their parents' relationship in an interesting way. We've got, in the wild, some really nice artwork here. I'd say that that in the wild artwork is probably one of my favorites from this set that isn't like holographic or anything. Galarian Ponyta. Probably my favorite Galarian form, just because it really looks adorable and well put together. Oh, Sobble. <laughs> we have a Maractus. This move. Zzz. Always makes me chuckle because I feel like it should be on an electric type, but we have Mud Bray. Looks like the trainer has tried many times to catch this one, but it's not particularly having any of it. And as the reverse hollow, we have a quick ball trainer card. Very pretty. And on the end, we have a Lapras. And I believe this is some artwork I haven't seen before. I really like the soft coloring. Almost looks like watercolor in a way. Very nice card. Let's go into Snorlax next here. I gotta say, there's something nostalgic about the sound of packs and the smell of new cards. In all the years that Pokemon's have been around and the card game's been around, I feel like the Cards have always kind of smelled the same, as weird as that might sound. But let me know if you folks noticed that as well. The cards seem to have kind of a signature smell to them. And we have a code card from the back. Do the good old. One, two, three to the front. 
energy off the back. Electric energy here. And we're going to start out with an evolution incense. Trainer card. Vitality band. of a hunter. Right now I'm um, actually replaying through Pokemon Leaf Green. I might do um, a video on that later on. But then I just got to um, the tower in Lavender Town, so Very applicable card there. I like the, the different purples they used for him with the little pink accents. Sizzlepede here. Oh. Galarian Zigzagoon. Looking very excited. On and across the field. It's probably in the wild area. They're always running around. You'll be biking around trying to hatch an egg, and all of a sudden you're in an encounter with the zigzagoon that popped out of the grass. Oh, this is super cute. Little Muna, but it's the little crocheted version. I love this. This is awesome. <laughs> Might not even be that great of a card, but it's adorable, so it can sit up here next to the the rare Lapras card, in my opinion. Snow. Just plowing a trail through some through some snow. Doing his own thing. We have Grookey. Looks like he's fixing his little leaf hair there. Getting it back into place. We have another Vitality Band. Is the reverse holographic. So if you want to be fancy when you're playing, you can use reverse or hollow ones. And on the end, we have Orb Beetle. This is a rare. This thing's, um, Gigantamax Evolution's really cool. The UFO looking thing is I'm not much for bug Pokemon. Um, I've certainly raised a size or two, but um, I feel like that one's a pretty good one. I like the the unique concept. And we're gonna get into the last Zacian pack here. Hopefully we get somebody cool, but I might have used up all my luck in the, um, the last one. Oh, my, forgive me, I opened it the wrong way. <laughs> but, fingers crossed we get somebody snazzy. Here is the code card for you guys. And we'll do the good old one, two, three to the front. Take the energy off the back. A little leaf energy. I swear, between all the um, elite trainer boxes I buy and these things, I've got energy for days. So we're starting out with Corvus Squire here. This Pokemon really reminds me of um, Nightwing. Soul Mine reminds me of kind of like Robin. Rookedy, Corvus Squire is Nightwing. I'm, um, Corviknight is Batman, but that could just be me. Another pretty nice Gilvantula here. Oh, we get Galarian Linoon. Can go with its friend, um, Zigzagoon. Looking ready to rock and roll. Silcobra here. Oh, nice 
Mancino. This looks like some more artwork that might be watercolor or just the watercolor effect. It's very nice. This Pokemon looks so cozy. Oh, we got a Vulpix here. I absolutely love this artwork. It looks so cute. I love the little backgrounds they give them. Kind of reminds me of like a, um, a mystery dungeon kind of background. Might be getting ready to go into a dungeon. Or maybe need rescuing itself. Oh, we got another one of these super cute crocheted mana cards. It's gonna go back in the place of honor up here. Rosalia. Looks like they're manning a flower shop. First hollow man time. It's got a little buddy remorade underneath it. Water reserve and a wave splash. It's a super nice card. And on the end, oh, we got something cool. Oh my goodness. We got Zossie and V with intrepid sword. Here, let me put it in a sleeve before I manage to ruin it somehow. I have very little faith in my ability. Okay, there we go. Now that we're protected, we can take a quick look here. So, Intrepid Sword. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your deck and attach any number of Steel Energy cards you find there to this Pokémon the other card into your hand. If you use this ability, your turn ends. It's pretty good. Brief Blade during your next turn, this Pokemon can attack. So this bad boy, you're really putting it all on the line and hoping that you end up with someone who doesn't have more HP than this. It's funny in this day and age, um, I remember when like, having 120 HP back in the day, I was like, man, that's a beefy Pokemon. And now it's like, oh, 200? Yeah, that's, I guess that's some HP. I think the new, um, Snorlax would probably, I haven't seen it, but I think we're, we're in the 300 HP realm nowadays. But, wow, what a way to end it. I think I owe you guys for the good luck here, because normally when it comes to these blister packs, I completely strike out, but maybe it appreciated that I ended up picking a, a blister pack that had two Zacian packs in it, so that is awesome. We're going to have Lit and hold this one. Right under his chin. So, that's it for this video. I really appreciate you folks watching and leaving feedback. It really helps me kind of try to improve my videos, come up with new ideas, add some diversity. Um, I will have a little bit more time coming up to make videos as things with work change due to the, the current times, so I'm hoping to get some more creative, like a role play or two, things like that. So I hope that everybody is safe and that this video helped you maybe relax a little bit. I know can be stressful for folks. And thank you so much, guys, for watching and for your support. Until the next video, goodbye.